Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Neo Draft League. This week we'll be prepping for and fighting the Houston Rockets, aka Spitfire. He's been on our channel before, so y'all recognize him, hopefully. Uh, as y'all can see here, he does have a rain team this week, all oh, this season. And he is pr most likely going to be our final match for the season. Since we're only doing eight weeks, I can't really make a comeback unless unless hidden messes up bad. Currently, the doc's not updated, so I can't tell you 100% for sure. But I know I lost the past two week three, and I don't know how well hidden's been doing. So, but he's the closest one to me, and so is Yoshi. So, depending on how well those two do, depends on if I make it in the playoffs. <coughs> But let's just prep for Spitfire for right now, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> I'll go ahead and take this off the screen, put it over here. So like I said, he does have a rain team going on here. Utilizing Mega Swampert. Uh, he's been bringing Tepu Coco with uh, Halucha, Unburdened uh, Electric Seed too. I don't think he's brought Cresselia too much. Uh, Grimstall Screens is an option he has. Uh, Pharisee's just going to be annoying. It's not going to really do that much damage. Actually, I could just put this on the screen and I could flip back and forth between it. Uh, he has a couple hazard removers. I could bring it, but I think the only one I'm probably going to bring is probably webs. Uh, his common weaknesses right now are fairy and ground, but he has four immunities to ground. Thought he, you would think he'd have more to electric, but he only has three. Uh, first things first, let's go see how fast Swampert's gonna be probably. Swampert, Mega, Rain, minus one with Rain. 348, so I just got to prep around that. Actually, that's the wrong one. It's this one. I definitely think we bring little Danny here. I mean, he has answers for it, mostly being like Kalucha. Honestly, it's just really Halucha. Because I resist Conkeldur. I'm super effective on Cresselia. Grimstar on neutral. Jirachi, I guess. Could pose an issue. Rotom, Polito get bodied. Swampert gets bodied. Pelipper can come in, I guess. And actual kind of takes a hit. I'm gonna put that on there just for safety. I don't think he'll bring rocks. I 
Honestly, Cryogonal Freeze Dry, though. Just takes down Politoed, Rotom, Swampert, Pelipper pretty well. Does he have anything that wants to try and use sound based moves? Not really. Yeah, he doesn't really have any sound based moves. And if he does, I can't think of them right now. Just in case Jirachi tries to come in. I guess that would work. Probably gonna run Hydro Pump. If James takes my stuff, we're probably to Scarf uh, Weather Ball. Pelipper could do it to a worse degree. The only mon I could really see using Scald would probably be Pelipper or Politoed, but Politoed probably would be more offensive. No ghost types either. Grimstone could throw out Paralysis. I'll put it on there just as a precaution. I could still kill. I could at least kill Swampert. And I take its hits pretty well too. Now Politoed, how much do you want to take? A fair amount. Uh, Rotom dash wash. Basically two hits. He could also get help from Madzy, but I doubt he'll do that. Normally when it's me versus him, he'll just run at me by himself. He'd be a coward to do that. 252 HP, 252 bold. It's not a guaranteed two hit. Especially with leftovers. I think we'll do this. It's a bit odd, but it'll work. He'll probably throw Ice Punch on the Swampert, but I could switch in and I could bait him. And if I'm doing the baiting thing, I know he has rain and this is probably real stupid to do. But if I'm using Levani as an answer for water and ground type moves and baiting an ice punch, I could put Arcanine on here for Intimidate, switch in the Arcanine and Intimidate the Swampert, 
and then go from there. Salamance probably does it better than Levania, but Levania sets up the webs. He doesn't have a fire type, no. That'd be pointless. And I want the Intimidate. A wild charge. I'll clap something. That'd be a real fucking rude thing to do. I just want to see if Power Herb... I think it works with Solar Beam. It should. It's a two-turn attack. Okay, so Power Herb Solar Beam does work. So does Solar Blade, but I don't have that option. Maybe Levani does. No. Would that even kill? Okay, see, this is kind of risky here, though. <laughs> I don't want Hasty, I want... I want the reverse of Relax. Naive is what it was. Oh wait, Solar Beam gets cut in half if there's rain. Okay, but what if there's no rain? I can kill. He wouldn't send it out though without the rain. I'd hope not. Would he? He's not an idiot. Not fully. But it won't kill if it's a rain. Doesn't even make it close to killing. Close combat hits the Pharisee in an extra drill, but fire moves hit them. Actually, close combat's still fine, because if rain set up, I have a backup. And though it's slightly weaker, I could throw Psychic Fangs on here. Because I'm not really worried about Grimmsnarl that much. Because I can slap Gardevoir on here and deal with it. Or Nidoking. But if I throw Psychic Fangs, I could hit Conkelder, Kalucha, and if Grimmsnarl sets up screens, I could hit it too and break the screens. Yeah, I'll do that. I 
I've got two Pokemon so far. I don't really want to burn Coffer here. Well, yeah, because the only thing that's going to use something like the real stupid would be Halucha High Jump Kick. The rest have pretty good neutral damage. Yeah, I can switch it on Conk, but if I burn it and it's guts, that's just a different issue for me. I think the next one I'm bringing is this. Water Absorb, Quagsire. Immune to Tepicoco, Rotom Wash, Politoed, Swampert, and Pelipper's Stabs. Well, some of them. And I can also bluff unaware until he hits me with a water move. Scald Hey, so I can remove Boost. Probably just Earthquake Recover. I think Tapu Koko gets Grass Knot too, so I do gotta watch out for that. Yes, it does. It's a good thing I remember that. Uh. Now I do want to do this. Raikou. He doesn't have any fake out mines, right? Grimmsnarl. And eh, inner focus doesn't hurt. Aura Sphere. In case that stupid Pharisee tries to come in. Volt Switch so I could easily get out. And then Scald for the Excadrill. And I guess Mega Swamper too. I would prefer a Grass move, but we can't use Hidden Power. Three forty eight is what I'm looking to beat here. No one does it by Raikou. I'm gonna just put this here just so I can have something to remind me without switching back and forth. I wish you got that, but you don't. I went to my last move to be. He has a lot of physical attackers here. Jirachi, Grimmsnarl, Conk, Halucha, Extrill, Swampert, Coco sometimes. Pharisee, if it's going to do anything, it's going to click Gyro Ball. Just reflect doesn't really make for it too much sense though. Uh. 
could just put knock off here. Just if something wants to try and come in on me, I can knock off its item. Kind of need some coverage for the uh, Cress, because besides Levani, I can't really touch the thing. Guess Arcanine could hit it. I guess Signal Beam would work for hitting Cress. It's Neutron Jirachi, it's Neutron Grimps and all too. Also helps me. Well, it doesn't help me with it. But my Ice Resist with Free Strike just turn into weaknesses basically. Except for, actually, no, all of them do. Yeah. Uh, you're getting the boots. Cryogonal. I can't immediately kill Swampert. What do I need to kill this damn thing? It's not even guaranteed with Max. Okay, well, guess we're doing Max. I was going to try and make you specially bulky, but... We'll just have to rely on other things. Plus I make you modest. Now we have speed. And you're still slower than the fucking Swampert. I don't know if he's even gonna bother bringing the rain though. I mean, it's probably his best play, but he could just not do that entirely. Though, if he sets up electric terrain and I have Specs Raikou here, which outspeeds his Swamper, I'm going to tear through his team. Especially with the help from Crygon on Levani's webs. Anything Specs will won't really do very much not spec scarf because they'll get out sped still i think the only thing that doesn't is scarf coco and he'll loot you i guess Besides Arcan, I'm really lacking on answers to the Salucha. Okay, I'm gonna take this off the screen real quick. I can just look this over here. For Exedrill, I have a Grand Resist. I have a s two Steel Resists. Three, technically, with Quag. Uh, and a. Uh, Ground immunity. Pelipper gets checked by Cryogonal and Raikou. Uh, Swamper gets cucked by Levani, Cryogonal, and I guess Quag too with Water Absorb. Coco doesn't want to really take on Quag. Uh, if it's special, Cryogonal's there with Raikou's assistance, and if it's physical, Arcanine's there. Levani also is there to help out too. Pharisee's not doing very much damage to Quag, period. Unless he's running Seed Bomb, but I also have Levani here. Rotom Wash is entirely negated by Quag, period. It, it ends there. Jirachi, I got Quag, I got Intimidate Arcanine, I got Webs, 
so it can't flinch me. Well, it could, but not on certain ones. Grim Snarl. Not very much answers for the Arcanine. Grim Snarl's standing out right now, so is Jirachi. And Halucha, too. Well, time to send it. I was considering putting Gardevoir on the team. Gardevoir would be nice. But Halucha Acrobatic just kills. Guarantee that. Uh, yeah. Halucha Acrobatics kills. Uh, Halucha High Jump Kick kills Terrakion. Salamence can kind of stand up to it. And that's basically it. Everything else besides Kofferigus really doesn't want to take a hit. He also doesn't have any Intimidate Mons. That'd be a real rude thing to do if I could somehow figure it out. Let me see something. So, if Pharisee's holding the Utility Umbrella, it bypasses the Rain Damage uh, hat Weakening. And if I put it on Politoed, it sets up the Rain, and then it doesn't get any benefits from the Rain. Same thing with Host for Pelipper, too. I can't do it to Swampert, unfortunately. But I could get rid of Extra's Fire Resist there too. Same thing with Jirachi too. Uh, I could give Halucha an item if worse comes to worse too. Also, Rain with Levani coming. Just thanks for weakening the fire damage that you might do with like Fire Punch. It'd be a cheeky thing to do, but if I'm being completely honest, I don't think I have a way around it. I have two things of leftovers here. I could switch this in on like Pella Swamp or Ice Punch or something. Intimidate, eject button and proc. I immediately switch to like Salamence, weaken it again. Or if Arcanine gets put in a tough spot and it somehow lives, I can immediately just switch out. This could also bite me in the ass, but we'll figure that one out.
think what Salamence is just going to have to do for me is just pull this through. What on his team resists flying? Rotom, Coco, Jirachi, Excadrill. And none of those want to take an Earthquake. Well, Rotom wants to come in on Earthquake pretty fine, but that's fine. I'll deal with the Rotom situation later. Because, I mean, Cryogondal's there, Quag's there. Honestly, Quag. Get rid of that so he doesn't see that. Cause that's just gonna give away the fact I'm webs and that's gonna suck worse how does right Ra Raikou want to fight Halucha how much damage do I take from that I'm burdened I take so much damage from close combat. <laughs> Holy hell. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of an item. None. Acrobatics. Intimidates procced. Okay, Arcanine just kind of comes in. What about Salamence? So, what is Salamence doing? While it's intimid, while it's tempting, and I haven't ran Moxie yet with Scarf, not happening. Okay, so Salamence could come in here pretty safe too. Dual wing beat Rue substitute earthquake. Does that have any defense? No. You should be fine. I don't think you outspeed. No. Only one who outspeeds the Swampert is the Raikou. After the Levani sets up webs. If Levani doesn't, then we're just screwed. And honestly, Arcanine, Talamence switching would probably force Halucha to switch and lose that Unburden boost that it's going to get. So it would go back to being somewhat slow. I just don't... But that would require Scarf and Intimidate, not Scarf and Moxie, so I can't do that. Haze is nice for... Sword Stance, Halucha, Calm Mind Crest, Bulk Up Conk, Bulk Up Grimstar will Prankster too. Uh, Jirachi, probably won't set up. Nasty Plot, Coco, Sword Stance Swamp, Sword Stance X. So yeah, keep the Haze, keep the Scald Burns. I just don't know about you being fully offensive. I want the Psychic Fangs, I want the Wild Charge, I want the Flare Blitz. I don't think I need close... I'm looking at the wrong screen here. I thought it was still there for some reason. What was close combat for? Fair seed, extra outside of rain. But quag. Quag and mints. And Raikou Aura Series right here. I don't think I need close combat.
Iron Head. If I want to try and flinch him back, I think we'll just put Morning Sun. If there's no rain up at the time, we could probably get by. Either that or slap agility on here, and I just go offensive. I don't think that's smart. I think we'll keep the Morning Sun. I'll hold 25 in rain, 50 outside of rain, and just hope that keeps me out of the kill range. Last real match, so I gotta make sure I win this if I even want a chance at playoffs. Hello guys, so I'll see y'all guys we there, about to and we'll do this fight win. with Spitfire or James right now. And we're about to see if we're gonna have more weeks or if this is gonna be the last one now. And he brought the rain. I was it. I think he's a pretty young uh, punk. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I could just leave Cryogon on the switch to probably Salamence or Arcanine, depending on what he sends out first. Unless he's physical Coco. Nah, I definitely kill it here. This Pelipper's fucking trash. Perish. I see he's in cosmic power. You may just think I'm unaware and just switch. I'm not just going to let you sit there and do that. Okay, the Pelipper comes in. <laughs> nice signal beam on the Jirachi. Took 22 from Air Slash. Tapu Coco. Well, he's probably about to show me if he's special or physical. He screens. Yeah, I'm just not gonna let you get away with that. We just send the Levani here. Did 
Yeah, I just click psychic things here. What? Okay, but what do you do here now? Because I can still hit you. And you can't really hit me back. It's not really working out for you. All your team is damaged. I mean, I forced the Swapper down in the rain. I'm gonna just raw EQ there. Get 34. Why would he sack with Coco? A Lucha and Burden, maybe? But Halucha can't hurt Salamence. I don't see why I don't just do that. <laughs> you switch the Swamper to dies. That's fine. I still got Quag. This is also fine. Ah! Well, I'm clicking this. Have fun. Oh, that shit actually killed. Huh. Something's gonna die here. I should just click Thunderbolt. I just click Leaf Blade here. 
Actually, I got free strike. I click sticky web here, so Swamper doesn't really fuck me over. I go cryo, I freeze dry. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that one somewhat worked out. But I'm gonna go play games with Spit now. On like multiverses and stuff. So I'll see y'all guys next time. If we make it into the playoffs, that is. Or otherwise, I'll see y'all next season.